Our pets often seem to know when we're sad before we say a word. They're incredibly sensitive to the subtle cues we give off. Signals we don't even realize we're sharing. Over time, they learn to read us almost as well as we read them. Dogs, for example, have evolved alongside humans for thousands of years. They've developed an exceptional ability to understand facial expressions, body language, and even tiny changes in our posture or movement. When we're sad, our energy slows, our shoulders slump, and our facial muscles relax, all of which they instantly notice. Cats, though more independent, are also keen observers. They can pick up on shifts in our routine, our tone of voice, and the scent of our stress hormones. These hormones subtly change when we're upset. Both dogs and cats have powerful senses of smell. They can detect differences in cortisol levels or adrenaline. These chemical signals can alert them that something isn't right long before we speak. Pets also rely heavily on emotional memory. They remember how we behave when we're sad. They connect it to how they responded before. If comforting us brought positive reinforcement, like petting or gentle words, they're even more likely to do it again. Sound plays a big role too. Our voices become quieter, shakier, or more monotone when we're upset. Animals are extremely tuned in to these shifts. Plus, pets are masters at reading our routines. If we move more slowly, skip activities, or change our habits, they immediately recognize the difference and react. On a deeper level, pets form emotional bonds with us, similar to the way children bond with their caregivers. When we're hurting, they feel a natural instinct to comfort, protect, or stay close. That's why your dog might rest its head on your lap, or your cat might curl beside you at the exact moment you need it most. In their own quiet way, pets don't need words. They read our emotions through senses and instincts far sharper than our own.